All right, here we are, Mile Marker, Mile Marker One, with Joe Liacano. Joe, you've been, you've uh, been, uh, you're like a legendary uh, manager of restaurants over the years. You've, uh, you've, uh, you've managed actually some of the finest restaurants in Gloucester. Yeah, I was very fortunate to uh, be brought up from the Caribbean to uh, manage an open latitude for those guys down there on Roger Street for uh, a couple of years. And then recently went up at Peking, uh, Peking Grill in Burlington, fine dining steakhouse, 300 seats or so, 350 seats. And now uh, now here I am back in Gloucester, back in my hometown, and uh, decided to take on a new, uh, new project with the Dominic family over at the Cape Ann Marina and uh, create a restaurant for them. They, uh, they passed, it was obviously a restaurant over at the Gull, and everyone thinks of the Gull when they think of Cape Ann Marina, but this is actually, has nothing to do with the Gull, this is actually at the marina itself. And uh, once you guys come on in, and I'll, I'll show you what, uh, what we got. So, so for people to find it, you come come down where the hotel is, right? Yeah. So you pull on the hotel parking lot, and um, instead of uh, you know going to the the gull side or to the left where the gull used to be, you actually enter into the marina parking lot itself. You go by all the boats that are on the left hand side. There's a large parking lot where you can park and parking for hundreds of cars. And you'll see the signage you'll once you get in there. signage, mile marker, and there you'll you see go. the front desk, and you'll see all the flags hanging in front of the hotel. Perfect. Let's go for a tour. Now, is this all newly constructed? Brand new. Brand new restaurant, uh, dining room, kitchen. Um, Everything, the paint is fresh. Everything is like Everything super is clean fresh. and fresh. Everything fresh yeah. and clean. Everything. Uh, this is our, essentially the lobby of the, the hotel, and now is the... Uh, focal point of the restaurant when it comes to the front desk. Yep. So people come in this way. Our friendly host will greet you. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey guys. And then uh, you'll enter down into the dining space. We have, as you see, a wide open space here with windows looking out over the Inner The views are ridiculous. Yeah. The views yeah. are actually, don't worry, you can walk by. <laughs> so this is our dining. It's a uh, very, very light, and bright, and seating for about 50 in here. This reminds me of like you're down on the, in, on the intercoastal, intercoastal in Florida. That's what everybody says when they come out here. Yeah. This deck here has seating capacity for 85 people. Wow. Can you, can you pull up a boat here? If you can you... pull up a boat. There are two transient docks on either side of this uh, of the restaurant. What you got to do is call Channel 10, talk to the dock master. Depend upon the day and which direction you're coming from up the river, they'll be more than happy to accommodate you and guide you in the right direction and even help tie you up. And when you come up to the restaurant, there's free dockage. Wow. At all times. Nice. Yeah. That's that's a big bonus. Yeah. So you got plenty of seating here. Plenty of seating. And what, what time do you plan on being open till at night? We plan on being open. We're going to serve food until 10 o'clock at night, and then the bar's going to close at 11 o'clock. We really don't want to be that place where we're going to have the late night loud crowd and, yeah. and that kind of thing. We want to try to have it, you know, a, a nice crowd in here till 11 o'clock. This is a fantastic place for a, for a wedding because you got the hotel, yep. you got the, the, the dining on the water. If, especially for boating people, yeah. come here, it's like ridiculous. Yeah, you know, the, uh, it's, we've actually had a couple of small groups that have been out there on the on the deck that I'll take you out there and show you. We actually have another deck. This is essentially called our river deck, hence the river here. And the other deck, which is a lot larger, that has views over the river and down towards the bridge, the Blimmin Bridge, yep. is what's called the bridge deck. And uh -huh. uh, I'll take you for a walk that way and show you if you like. Let's do it. All right. We're actually going to cut through the, uh, the pool here. Most people don't even know there's a pool. Um, at the marina, but there's a pool here. All right. And within the pool, we have a pool bar. Ah, with Gilly, the famous Gilly. Gilly, Gilly's got his own following. You know, he, he he's been a bartender in Gloucester for quite a while, and, and people come to see him because they know he knows how to pour a drink. <laughs> that a boy. Yeah. This, this bar, as you can see, if you're sitting at the windows here. You can see right out over the water. Yeah. The this is, everything is, everything is, everything's brand new. Everything's brand new. Like brand new. Frozen drink machine right there. Get them cold drinks going in the summer. And here we are, back into the front lobby area. Now if we head out the front door again. And we enter to the left here. This is the, the bridge deck. Was just opening, so we haven't got the place completely set up with seats. But in this space here, in this space here, there is 60 seats in this open space right here. Wow, wow, and the views that's the cut bridge right there. That is the cut bridge. Wow, do you do functions here as well? We do do functions. We actually have one. The reason why it's open like this is 
that we actually have an event here tomorrow for 80 people. We have one the next three days in a row, 80, 60, and then 80. So we can't accommodate about 120 out here. Um, the tent space itself will seat comfortably 80. You could probably put another 40 out here in the sun. We do have uh, you know, freestanding tables and umbrellas. We got this really cool bar that we just put in. It's just gonna stop. Tuna.com right there. Wicked tuna boat right there. Tying up. I didn't know he tied up right here. Yeah, right there. They're up here every day. There's your spot. Yeah. People, fans of Wicked Tuna, you come down and watch Dave leave in the morning. Yeah. They're and, in and out every day. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the cut bridge. You see the boat traffic going by. Gloucester High School right there. It's a beautiful spot. It's a great spot. I mean, this bar here alone, I think, is gonna be something that's gonna be very, very sought off there in the town. There's not many places in Gloucester where you can go and sit at a bar like this and have a drink, yeah. have a bite to eat, and look over the water like this. When that high tide is up, those boats you can almost reach out and touch them. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, be able to pull up your boat for zero, yep. have a nice meal, and then yep. like be on your way, go go, to, go up the Anasquam do, or go yep. out go out the, the yep. harbor, whatever yep. you want to do. And even if you can't come up and spend the afternoon here, you can call by VHF or by phone. More than happy to place an order over the phone. We'll deliver it to the dock. If you pull up at the dock, we'll bring it right down to you. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, hey, Joe, anything you want to add? Come on down. It's summer. <laughs> you know, it's summer. This is a great location. I get to say there's probably one of the most unique locations in Gloucester. It's a hidden gem. you got to get over that bridge down there, come down the causeway, take a ride past the movie theater, and come visit us at, at the uh, Cape Ann Marina and Mile Marker 1. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.